everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a good old-fashioned empties video i feel like i did one of these relatively recently i know i normally do them like every three ish months but i definitely feel like the last one i posted was like two months ago maybe three months ago i don't know we're already in june time is flying so my concept of what has happened when is really just kind of like woo, out the window but anyway i have gone through quite a few things lifestyle beauty etc that i am excited to share with you um and like i said in these videos i know they're very old school but i enjoy doing them because then i can share with you my beauty trash my lifestyle trash products i've actually gone through and used so i know full well how they performed would i buy again a lot of these products are things that you have seen before if you are familiar with my empties videos some of them are brand new but either way it's going to be a good time so yeah, without further ado, if you guys want to see uh, me dive into my empties and share with you what I've gone through in the past few months, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so right off the bat, I have two Dr. Teal's Coconut Oil Pure Epsom Salt. I have found that this is probably my favorite um, Epsom salt like scent from Dr. Teal's. Dr. Teal's is my favorite bath brand because they make such good, affordable, accessible bubble baths, body washes, all things of that nature. I love a good bath. I take a bath pretty much every other day. I'm going to take a bath after I film this video and I just really enjoy a good kind of soaking solution. I add my Dr. Teal's bubble bath, my foaming bath, and I will go in with this Epsom salt. And I don't know, Epsom salt, it has a lot of good kind of beneficial ingredients. Um, it has pure Epsom salt with magnesium sulfate to relax and restore your body some people might think it's a little bit gimmicky but you know it claims to ease the aches and soreness from muscle pains and i just love this scent more than anything i've tried so many of dr teal's scents i love experimenting with his i'm assuming it's a him or i should just say there with their foaming bath scents but for the um epsom salt i think i have found the one the winner if you will You'll also see here too that most of these products are things that I have gone through. However, some are things that are either old or expired or I simply don't use anymore and kind of want to declutter like after, you know, a while. So this being one of them, not because I wanted to, but because it freaking broke. This is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio aluminum free deodorant. Now this I loved. I was using every day. I spoke about it in my November favorites. I bought it in the fall Sephora VIB sale. And it's got that classic Sol de Janeiro scent that we all love, right? That pistachio caramel scent. It broke. Do you see that? One day I was just minding my own business and I twisted it open. And I was like, oh, and I, oh, half of it is literally in the head and I can't get it out. Like you literally cannot pull it out. Otherwise it'll fall apart. And Oh, just sad because that's so much wasted product it's such a good deodorant but it's expensive it's like 16 dollars for a deodorant for me to not even be able to use half of it really sucks Sol de Janeiro I love you but you got to work on this packaging because I know that I am not the only one who has experienced this I went online on Sephora and saw that quite a few people posted photos and reviews of this very issue so it's not just me and it's not like I moved it around a lot. Like it's not like it was super hot in my bathroom. Like just happened one day and it sucks, but I love a good aluminum free deodorant. I would potentially purchase this again, but I would just have to know that the packaging issue is fixed. So Sol de Janeiro, can you hear a girl out and help? Thank you. This I've had for almost four years now, I wanna say. This is the Ordinary High Adherent Silicone Primer. The Ordinary makes great affordable skincare, but they also make a few kind of makeup-esque products as well this being one of them and i love this because it's literally as i say a high adherent silicone primer so not only is it something that's going to blur the crap out of your skin it's also going to help like adhere your makeup to your skin which is something that's kind of rare usually it's one or the other you either have a really blurring mattifying primer or a very like dewy gripping primer like it's hard to kind of have both of that um but this literally comes out like i mean i obviously can't really show you i have a little bit left it comes out not super silicone-y like it feels very smoothing but it's a little bit more emollient than like a benefit professional or like a smashbox photo finish it doesn't peel off your skin it's a little bit more emollient but it is very smoothing and i did find that it was great at not only smoothing my skin but literally doing as it says and you know kind of gripping onto my makeup at the same time so i really enjoyed this it's under five dollars so i would purchase it again i just have so many primers and honestly guys like i don't find that i use primer a lot primers are probably the thing that i go through the least out of everything in my collection because when i sit down to do my makeup normally i have like my morning moisturizer on or today for example i put on a primer because i just washed my face and started brand new but 
Usually I'll have my morning moisturizer on underneath, so I don't really need to put on too much of anything else on top. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like throw that out there. Okay, I just finished this toothpaste. Now you guys know that I love my Hello toothpaste and I probably will go back to that, but I bought this in a three pack. This is the Tom's of Maine anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste. I love a good cruelty-free natural toothpaste. This one fights tartar buildup. It's vegan, no artificial cuddlers, no artificial flavors, no animal testing. And this is in the peppermint scent um i just wish it was one that stood up that's kind of like my gripe it's one that i have to like lay down on my counter that's not a big deal at all but yeah i enjoy this and i would repurchase again i have uh two more that i'm currently going through this is a mask that i think more people should talk about this is from m skincare which i believe is a brand you can find at ulta and it's very affordable products which i really enjoy this is the charcoal mud mask it draws out impurities and daily buildup for smooth and healthy skin and it's got hectorite clay i feel like there's a couple different clays so i never heard of hectorite clay but it comes out like a dark charcoal color like it's literally black but it paints on your face so smoothly so evenly and it it has Kellen and Hectorite clay. It's cruelty free, it's under $10 and it really just dries your face up but not so much to the point where you can like see all the crevices of your skin like it dries it out just enough without feeling like your face is about to fall off um, but it really does suck at all the stuff um, from your skin and I feel like it's such a good kind of like once a week detoxifier especially if you're breaking out or you have a lot of texture. I enjoy this so much that I did speak about this in one of my favorite videos. This is the comb, Comey refreshing serum mist with rice and sodium hyaluronate and um this is what it looks like it's just a cute little face mist i found at tj maxx the face mist is very powerful it will shoot out a lot of product but i will say it feels very nice first thing in the morning um this i don't know where you can find online because like i said i bought this at tj maxx on a whim sodium hyaluronic is basically kind of like hyaluronic acid if i'm not mistaken it's like a cheaper derivative of hyaluronic acid or something it's a little bit more affordable as an ingredient if i'm understanding that correctly but it's meant to do the same thing. It's meant to really kind of retain moisture in your skin and just give it all the hydration and juiciness that it needs. It feels so good in the morning and it's not really heavily fragranced at all. It's a very powerful mist, but I enjoyed it. I just went through this today. This is the Bath & Body Works um, Island Margarita Wallflower. Now I have found, I think I've spoken about this before, some wallflower plugs make my wallflower refills go by very quickly. This one I finished in like probably a month um, in my kitchen, but this is a good scent. I've had it in a couple different set, like varieties before. I think I've had it in either like a hand cream or a hand lotion or a hand soap. I can't quite remember hand sanitizer, I don't know, but I've had it before. I like it, it's not my favorite scent in the world. There are scents that I would definitely much prefer to this, but when it came to something in my kitchen, I was like, huh, like island margarita could be fun, why not? Like, I kind of like to theme them around my house, you know, like my hallway um, next to my washing machine. I have like laundry day or fresh sheets, you know? And um, so yeah, I mean, totally just in my head like something that i do but i like this what i purchase again i would probably veer towards something else before purchasing it but i definitely am not opposed to purchasing it again okay this is also an example of something that's very old i spoke about this i believe in my skincare collection video i will link that above and below but this is a product that i mentioned that oh it's kind of old i don't really use it i'm just gonna get rid of it this is the 111 skin pollution defense booster this is a serum i use you know more than half of it but it's one that i use in the morning it's very expensive when i look this up like retail because i did get this in a boxy charm so i did not pay for this full price um but honestly i didn't really see it do much of anything i guess it's hard too for like pollution defense to see like quantifiable results right it's not like a clarifying serum for like acne or like wrinkles or dryness or something that you can kind of like visibly see this is like pollution defense it's very arbitrary very ambiguous so maybe for that reason i just wouldn't really notice the difference but you know to that point i wouldn't purchase something like this again let alone something at this price point because when i looked this up whoo that's really expensive so yeah this is something that my mom gave to me actually this is the ambush by shuamura um cleansing oil and i use this as like my makeup remover cleansing oil in the shower and it did a really good job i wouldn't repurchase this again because first of all i don't know if you still can second of all shuamura is very expensive third of all i don't even know if this line is still available and i don't believe 
it is, but I don't know. But yeah, it's a pollutant and dullness clarifying cleansing oil. So this would be my first step in a double cleanse. Like if I'm wearing a full face of makeup like I am today, I would go in the shower or whatever, like pump uh, two pumps of this in my hand on dry skin, dry hands to really kind of break down the makeup and then rinse before I go to the cleanser. I always double cleanse when I wear makeup because I just don't feel like one cleanser is enough. I want to take off the makeup pointedly first and then go in with a cleanser. And then I feel like it does a better job of like really getting my skin clean because i'm telling you even though sometimes i double cleanse like if i don't do all the steps like i still see like residue on my face when i'm like patting my face dry um or you know like toning it with something i'll be like oh like that means that it's not clean enough so i always like to double cleanse speaking of toning i just bought another one of these actually so yes yeah, spoiler alert i would repurchase this is the first aid beauty facial radiance pads that help exfoliate tone and brighten now i keep these in my truck oh i have a couple in here as you can see left but they're literally dry that's the thing they're just bone dry so they don't have any product on them and that kind of defeats the purpose oh my nail polish matches that's so fun i love the color coordination these do have glycolic acid so they do have acids in them to help exfoliate your skin i personally love that for texture and i love this formula it doesn't really burn it does sting a little bit especially if your skin's a little bit irritated but it does a great job at kind of like turning over those skin cells it's alcohol free which i personally love and appreciate and um i use this after obviously cleansing it's my toner and going before serums and moisturizers i love first aid beauty and it's safe for sensitive skin i notice such a big difference when i use these because it really does help kind of smooth out my skin skin and help with problem areas that I'm experiencing. I have quite a few wallflowers in here. Let's see if I can remember what these are just by a set. Waikiki Beach Coconut. Springtime in Paris? Yes, I think springtime in Paris, Waikiki Beach Coconut. These are great. I just love a good wallflower now. I'm becoming a wallflower girl. Don't worry, I'm still a candle girl, but I love a good wallflower. I love the always on kind of vibe and um, it just fills the entire space and it just makes me feel happy. Okay, this is a mini version, like the tiny, tiny travel version I got in like a Best of Sephora kit or whatever by Grande Lash MD. I continue to repurchase this formula. I just bought another one last week. Um, I buy the travel size versions now because initially I bought the full size version, but then the travel size one like not this one this is like the mini one but the travel size one lasts me like a few months so i use it as my full size full-time version and i love it i love grande lash md it's so good it makes my lashes i feel so long like i really do notice a difference between even without mascara of course like when i use it and when i don't i will say i don't feel like this one made my lashes as impactful as before i feel like my peak lashes were probably like winter time like if you watch like my best of 2021 video like that time of year like december and january i feel like i had such long lashes and like i said i was using grande lash md every night i don't think there's a difference in the formula i've been seeing on tiktok that some people have been saying that Grande Lash MD is making their like eye fat go away. I personally have not noticed that. I don't know if it's like a placebo thing or whatever, but I have not noticed that. And I don't notice any irritation and I'm a contact lens wearer. Now granted, I only apply it at night, but I enjoy it. And I think it makes my lashes like I'm wearing mascara right now, obviously, but without Grande Lash MD, like you wouldn't really even be able to see my eyelashes. The fact that you can really see them like this is kind of testament to in my opinion the formula and i i really see results like that is something i definitely see results with mascara speaking of mascaras this is one that is kind of old and dried out but this is the second time that i bought this this is the tart man eater mascara this is such a good mascara i feel like it's so underrated um it's not super volumizing but it's very lengthening very separating and it does such a good job at just making each lash stand out it's got like a plastic molded brush you can see it's got kind of got that ball tip at the very end if you want to get like on your lower lash line or really kind of turn it vertically to precisely get ooh, your lashes this would be a mascara that i would go into kind of fight clumps for example if i went in with a super volumizing formula but i needed to kind of like bring out each lash and i felt like okay it was like too clumpy i would go in with this after and it really helped separate everything and lengthen everything and just give such good definition so this is an og and i definitely could see myself repurchasing this again i have candles in here ladies and gentlemen this one is white pumpkin from fall this one took forever to burn um but some of these i finally finished up because we had a blackout here about two months ago and i obviously being the candle queen that i am came prepared in that sense so i was pretty much lighting all the candles that i had on deck and you would think like oh my god how is the smell because it's like so many things you know kind of collecting at once honestly i didn't really notice 
um, like all the scents converging. If anything, I just noticed like a couple standing out more than others. But anywho, this is White Pumpkin. She is nice. The notes in this are caramel glaze, warm blooded spices, and it just, it smells like fall. It's good. It's a great scent. Obviously, I'm just not into it right now because we are literally about to start summer, but that was a good fall scent. Berry Waffle Cone, my all-time favorite summer scent. One of my top five favorites of all time. I bought this in the semi-annual sale a few months ago, and I'm going through my second one. I should have bought, like, more. Like I said, this is my favorite summer scent, if not my favorite scent of all time. Definitely top five. Definitely top five. I love it. It just, it's a perfect mix of fruity, but also gourmand and flaky, like that nice buttery note. The notes of this are sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. Like literally name three better notes put together. You can't. Hot buttered rum. I like this. I didn't love it. The notes in this are dark buttered rum, warm caramel. I noticed that I'm wavering between saying caramel and caramel. I say both. I am somebody who says both, so it's fine. Mulling spice and vanilla bourbon. It smells good. It smells good. It's just not my absolute favorite, but again, very winter, giving very like the sun sets at 5 p.m. I'm cozied up with a blanket, like, you know, just not the vibes right now. All right, to then, then we have the perfect Christmas. This is a good one. This just brings me back to Christmas. I had a really good Christmas last year. Um, it was really nice. This is a nice combination of um, pine and also like cinnamon. It's like cinnamon pine. That's what this really kind of gives. But the notes in this are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallow. I will link my previous two Bath and Body Works hauls down below if you guys want to see me talk about everything more in depth. But this is a great candle, just obviously not in that mode. And then this one too, this is the Love Cotton Candy Champagne. This gives very like January, February vibes. I think that's when I bought it. Very, very, very sweet. This is one that literally, like, if I was burning it, I would literally go outside to take my dog out on a walk and I would still smell it on me. Like, it would just consume my nostrils. It was almost a little bit too strong. And I think because it's a very sweet, like, cotton candy scent, like, it was a little bit too much for me at times. Like, I could not leave this burning for more than an hour. Um, otherwise, it would be, like, very, very much overwhelming. But at least you get your money's worth, right? Pure Wonder. I was literally just listening to this Shawn Mendes song and I'm, like, in my head this entire time, which especially now I'm, like... I wonder what it's like to be loved by you. Like literally that chorus just in my head. Anywho, Pure Wonder. This is a good body wash. This is the one that I use in the winter time. Um, it smells very crisp. It's got that note. Like it's really hard to explain because I feel like Pure Wonder actually does it such justice. It just feels like, like, ah, oh, like you're floating like winter wonderland. It's very clean, very crisp not too holiday at all it's almost just kind of like feels like a new start so i enjoy this but again like it's more winter-esque so i would not use it now and then slay all day the mary berry kiss foaming hand soap this is one that i use in my bathroom notes are winter berries snowy vanilla and crystallized ginger this is a great hand soap it smells really nice um you can see the little upside down santa very cute and i love that bath and body works hand soaps just stay on your skin like i just would wash it and my bathroom would smell like this and my hands would smell like this and i loved it i knew we would have a hello toothpaste in here this is the hello toothpaste this is probably my favorite toothpaste i've gone through so many tubes of this i don't even know at this point farm grown mint with tea tree and coconut oil naturally whitening it's got fluoride and i also probably love the aesthetic of this like i love that it matches like my bathroom and it's very clean and minimalistic so i mean i love the formula too it's not super duper minty but it is minty enough and you don't really get any of that nasty gunk you know why am i showing this like i don't know but i i just kind of felt compelled to because sometimes i show random like household items like cleaners and toilet bowl cleansers apparently and detergent this is the seventh generation toilet bowl cleanser it's uh zero percent chlorine bleach dye synthetic fragrances it's not overwhelmingly like fragrant it comes out clear so there's no dyes in it and i don't really know what to say it cleans your toilet when you scrub it it's just good stuff and i like knowing too that even though it's like oh my god it's just a toilet bowl cleaner like it's more of a natural formula right i like using more natural stuff typically in my house to clean so i gotta appreciate this and show it some love cleaning up cleaners i went through the granite and stone cleaner and polish with lemon essential oil i got this at home goods home goods is an underrated place to buy like household essentials i bought a lot of cleaners there i bought a lot of stuff from my home there hello home goods but um i use this a lot so much like on my 
island on my countertops. It's non-toxic, it's plant-based. Typically for surfaces, I like using different surface cleaners. And because I'm probably using like my countertops the most, like I obviously wanted to get like a dedicated cleaner. Safe for use on granite, marble, quartz, on onyx, is that how you pronounce it? Travertine, slate, and other sealed countertops. So it's good, it's from Home Goods, and I love that it's, you know, normally seven bucks, but I got it for five. Oh, another Grande Lash MD. So this is the one that I went through before the mini one. I will show you the size difference. This is the one that I repurchased like this size. So this is the mini version right here. And this is the travel size version. The travel size version, it's got a lot more weight. Um, it's obviously a little bit bigger. It says it's supposed to last you three months and this is only supposed to last you six weeks. But I made this last like six to seven months. I just do one line, like I do this, one, one 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 don't dip it back in you don't need to and it makes your lashes look great uh the Too faced damn girl mascara this is like a mini size version i went through this is a great mascara i also have do i have the full size i think i have the full size in here yes i have the full size huh. this is a good mascara it's very thick it's even thicker and bigger than the Too faced better than sex mascara which i love it's a holy grail but it's a little more clumpy than that one. So I don't know if I would repurchase it once I go through that one, just because my Too Faced Better Than Sex is just fine. Like I love the volume it gives me, but um, it is a little bit messy and the brush is very big. I did repurchase this. This is the Milani Green Goddess lip balm. You can see how worn and like done it is, like the packaging, because um, I would throw this in my bag and this was like my daily lip balm. This is made with CBD. As you can see, it's green, but it changes to the color, like it adjusts to the pH of your lips, so it gives it like a nice natural tint. I love the consistency, it just glides on so smoothly, but it wears for a decently long time. Like it's not one of those glidey lip balms that just like fades away, or it's not one of those ones that like tugs at your lips, and then you have to reapply in like two seconds. No, this is awesome. The one con I have with this is that the cap sometimes does not stay on. Like it just does not stay on. And then also too, you can see that the bullet doesn't line up with the positioning of this. Small things, whatever, it doesn't really matter, but the cap thing is an issue that I've also experienced in my other one. Not a huge deal breaker, but it is kind of annoying when I'm like digging around in my bag and I find that like the cap has come off and I don't know what, you know, it's exposed to, but I swear like I'm, I'm shutting it. Like you can hear it like shut, but then I, it comes off somehow, it comes off. This is one I just, God, this is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Formula. Look how thick that is. Look how thick that is. Ew. Um, I love a good white polish, but unfortunately this one is just too thick, too goopy. I've only used it like two or three times and I have to throw it away because it's just, it's a shade white on time. I love it. Great in concept, great in theory, but unfortunately just the formula did not work out for me. A few more items. One is a Juno & Co Clean Up Your Axe Solid Cleansing Bar. This is a good cleansing bar. I don't know if I would have purchased it again because I just love the Beauty Blender one, but this came with my Juno & Co sponges, which um, are like the ones that came out a few years ago, like the velvet microfiber ones that give you such good full coverage. Um, and this is one that I would use to clean my brushes and my things. I liked it, but I don't think it was as powerful as the Beauty Blender one. It didn't do as fast of a job. So I don't know if I would repurchase this one. And also there's this like $4 laundry soap that I wanna try on Amazon. It's this big like bar soap. And people claim that it is amazing. I mean, I would think so if it's good for stains, like I'm sure it'd be good, you know, for cleaning off makeup on your brushes but yeah this is great and um i really enjoy it next up we have two biosance products one of which is the squalene and zinc sheer mineral sunscreen i really enjoy this this is more of a thick texture it's not one that i would like to use in the summertime because it's one that you can literally see it on your skin like if you have oily skin you will see this kind of on your skin and you will feel it it's a little bit heavier in the wintertime it was good and fine um i love that it's a mineral sunscreen but right now in the summer i don't think my oily skin could handle it and then this is one that I really did enjoy as well. This is a squalene and BHA pore minimizing toner. Visibly tightens large pores. So BHA is also an acid that's gonna help exfoliate and just you know make your skin feel squeaky clean. I did see results with this. I would buy it again. Um, I just you know wanna try other toners first. Then we have the Burt's Bees Refreshing Foaming Cleanser with Cucumber and Mint. I use this every morning because I bought it, you know, when I was done with my Kylie Skin foaming face wash and I needed another foaming face wash. This was only like 10 bucks. And Burt's Bees skincare is good. I don't 
particularly love it. I'm always down to try it, but it's a good kind of nice, natural, affordable product. So I liked it. I love the scent. Um, would I repurchase again? It probably wouldn't be my first choice, but I liked it. I didn't have any adverse effects on my skin. Last but not least, we have the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. I have probably had this longer than I care to admit. This is like a nice kind of coppery brown color. Like it's really pretty, but you can see it's literally dried out and I don't really have anything to twist up and show you. But it comes out like a nice coppery, glistening, sparkly effect. And I really enjoyed it. Um, would I buy this again? Like, probably not. I think there are so many affordable brands that are killing it with eyeliners right now. But this was a cool, unique formula when it came out. All right, everybody, and that was it for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this roundup of my beauty and lifestyle trash I've gone through recently. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you've gone through recently. And, you know, if you've gone through anything that I've shared here, I would love to know. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.